Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Lever Guns 50. Alright, today we're taking this 1886 Winchester. This is a modern version. This one's made in Japan. It's got a chrome alloy steel barrel and it's capable of high pressure. We're shooting 300 grain bullets at 2,800 feet a second out of this bad boy into some water jugs at 100 yards. So let's look at this. Uh, we got this right here, and I'll leave a description down below how you can get a hold of one of these. This is a butt pad, and it's made out of, it's got some kind of uh, gel inside of it. And uh, anyhow, some, they sent it out to me to check it out, and I'm gonna shoot it on this gun, and we'll see how much recoil that thing can absorb. And uh, well, y'all stay tuned, you hear? Okay, right now we're taking this 1886 Winchester in caliber 5110. It's got this nice little butt pad on here. We're gonna try out. And uh, shooting milk jugs filled with water at 100 yards. Gonna see what we can do. Got them all set up, got a camera set up down range. Hopefully it'll stay running in this cold weather. And we'll capture, see what, see what, uh, Bullet does to water jugs at 100 yards. Okay. One more time. Hopefully everything will work this time. So far one time. The camera ran out of memory. Another time the... I, I didn't hit good. Now this time it's going to be just perfect. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, pretty much in and out, in and out. Blow that one all the pieces. That one's probably going to be the first one. And then we got the bullet in this jug here. Yep. Let me see if I can capture it. I'll just dump it into my hand. Well, it lost its jacket, but they lost it in the same jug it stopped in, so I don't know how bad that is. But there you have it. <clears throat> 300 grain bullet, 2,800 feet a second at 100 yards. Went through three jugs of water and stopped in the fourth one. Now, if we take a close look at this, it come in there, it almost penetrated out the back. So it almost went through four jugs. But that's still a lot for a 300 grain bullet at 100 yards. All right, after shooting those uh, 
water jugs and it going through three of them and stopping in the fourth one. Uh, here are the bullets. Now all of them, this one went through three of them too and stopped, it, it, but it, it went into the ground and we couldn't find the, the jacket on it. This one here went through uh, three and stopped in the fourth one. It's right at an inch. It expanded out to right at an inch. And it uh, was 300 grains, now it's 231 grains. So it lost some weight, and this is the bullet. And it's a 300 grain bullet in, uh, originally. And so I feel like they did pretty good. And also this butt plat pad held up under all that uh, recoil. And so, I mean, that thing really held up good, and it softened the recoil really good too. I'm surprised, because as you know, Sorry about the rooster. As you know, this is a quite pointed, but it held up to it. And I figured it might burst it, but it didn't. It held up to it real good. So I'm feeling like that's a pretty decent product. I'm sure it wasn't meant for that kind of recoil, but hey, it seemed like it worked. All right, I want to wish y'all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, I believe we had lift off of the water jug. Let's go check them out. Wonder if we captured that bullet. Well, there's three water jugs blown to pieces, but I'm guessing by looking at this jug here that it might have just skin off the back of that one piece of lead in that one well, let's see if we can find it and we'll get back with you